Delta Airlines is pushing for the creation of a national no-fly list for unruly passengers who defy COVID protocols and harass flight crews. The airline says it has had to place close to 2,000 people on its own no-fly list during the course of the pandemic and that it has reported them to the TSA for civil penalties in more than 900 of those cases. Last year, the FAA put a zero-tolerance policy in place for unruly passengers, logging nearly 6,000 cases of bad behavior, most of them mask-related. Joining me now to discuss how a national no-fly list might impact bad actors in the skies is Larry Bleberg. He is a travel editor and immediate past president of the Society of American Travel Writers, someone who knows all about this. Thank you so much for making the time for us tonight. Oh, it's great to be here, Ruta Bay. So, so the Delta CEO wants to make this a federal government regulation, wrote a, wrote a letter to uh, the federal government. Um, why not just use its own no-fly list? Well, there's more than one airline out there, obviously. And it's been a, um, it's been a bad couple of years up there in the skies. There's been an endless parade of people behaving very badly. As we all know, there's been every week there seems to be something viral about somebody doing something stupid on a plane. And it's dangerous as well. Um, so I think this is a way to sort of create a, a nationwide naughty list, if you would. Although that makes it sound um, like I'm making light of it. It's, it's dangerous out there. I'm, I mean, you, you have the video here. Um, people are doing bad things out there, and this is a way to stop it. So are there cases that we know about where a passenger is banned maybe from one airline and then does the same thing again on another airline? I don't know of cases, but I have to imagine that's what's behind this letter. Um, it's, um, I don't know of repeat offenders. I think people are shamed when, and ashamed of their behavior after this happens. But keep in mind, we're having um, thousands of these happening at, at, um, a year. There's usually an incident every week, so it, there has to be repeat offenders. Do you think, though, that this would be effective? Do you think that these passengers who behave so badly will think through it any more than they do now, knowing they can be banned from individual airlines and arrested? Well, they have, um, the FAA had some pretty funny memes last year. Of people, um, one was a grandmother waving her finger saying, you know, I told you to do better. Um, <laughs> and then there's serious fines here. I mean, this is like a $37,000 fine that you can get. So that has a way of getting people's attention. Um, and let's sort of also think about what's behind this. Uh, about two, As you said, about 72% of these complaints last year involve masking. And um, this has been, you know, we're what, entering the third year of the pandemic. People are under pressure. People are feeling, um, are feeling it. And you get up into a tube, um, 30,000 feet in the sky. There's al often there's alcohol involved, and it's a very volatile combination. Hopefully, this will be a way to sort of get people to think a little more, maybe take a deep breath before they haul off and slug a fi flight attendant, which is what has happened. Yeah, most of these are mask related, but a lot of them are also alcohol related. Southwest now saying they're going to resume alcohol service. Do you think other airlines are going to follow suit? Yeah, I mean, it's um, all along you, well, not all along, but for quite a while you've been able to get alcohol in first class or in premium economy. I think they will. It is a revenue source, and it's some, but it is something that usually is behind these problems. Um, and then we also have had in airports, you, there are fewer flights, people have longer layovers, so they're drinking more in airport bars, and then some bars have been selling drinks to go. Now, under FAA regulations, you cannot have um, bring your own alcohol onto a plane, but people are still doing that. And yeah, so alcohol, like many things, when people do stupid things, like many occasions when people do stupid things, there's generally alcohol behind it. All right. Well, Larry, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see how it unfolds, if there's actually a response ever uh, that comes from that letter. Thank you. Sure. Just to remember to behave up there in the sky. <laughs> and people are trying to do their job. With, and the, with the grandma meme. Remember the grandma exactly. meme? Exactly. You know, we all know better. And I think that that's the takeaway is that um, just be kind and be thoughtful out there. We're all going through this together and we want to get to our destination. You never know what that other passenger next to you is going through. Thank you. Exactly. Take care. Good Take night. care, Larry. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.